Today's legal term is Bill of Particulars. This is factual detail submitted by a party upon request that further explains uh, or clarifies the charges or allegations in a case. So, Mitch, what does that really mean? Well, it used to be that we weren't as good at charging and back in the day when, you know, and so you really you have to give notice of somebody of what crime you're claiming they have they commit it. Mm -hmm. So the language of the statute and our charging has become very uniform. So really a bill of particulars is only comes up in a big theft type scenario. And it's really the defense asking, what are you claiming I did here? What are you claiming I stole? I can't defend myself unless I have more factual details than I'm getting out of the complaint and information. And really in Colorado they have limited a bill of particulars almost exclusively to that kind of crime. So when, when you say aggravated robbery, for instance, we set out the date, we set out the address, we set out the person that was robbed, we set out the deadly weapon that we claim mm -hmm. was used in the robbery, and the courts have found that sufficient notice along with the discovery that we turn over for that. Sometimes in these major economic crime, there may not quite be that kind of detail for them and then we have to submit a filing in writing which is the bill of particulars that would give that kind of notice to somebody that's asking for it. It's usually when there's a request for a bill of particulars it's just flat out denied by the judge because the judge says you've got notice, you've got discovery, you don't need anything more than that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, great, thanks.